welcome to this new Arabic lesson with me, Maha. Today's lesson is going to be about 10 useful everyday phrases. The first everyday useful phrase is, I have no idea. If I want to say, I have no idea, in Arabic we say, Ma عندي فكرة. Ma عندي فكرة. Ma عندي فكرة. Ma means no, it negates the عندي, which means I have. It's a preposition, by the way, it's not a verb, but anyways, I've made lessons about this and I don't want to confuse you, so let's keep it quick. Ma عندي, I don't have fikra, an idea. I think by now you know how to say I have an idea, which is phrase number two. عندي فكرة. عندي فكرة. عندي, try to make sure you pronounce the a. Good, it's not a, it's not he, it's a. عندي عندي فكرة I have a فكرة an idea and ما عندي فكرة I have no idea لحظة من فضلك لحظة من فضلك one moment please or a moment please لحظة let's pronounce it good together لا it's the ha of حمار the sunglass edge لحظة ظ time between the teeth and the sound the articulate the place of articulation is really deep and and far in the in the throat also the d of fadlika is a guttural sound that comes from the behind the throat not fadlika no 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 fadlika so again a moment please lahva min fadlika let's repeat it one more time lahva min fadlika Phrase number three, which is not actually a phrase, it's one word, but we use it a lot and it's really common and used in everyday life of Arabs, which is yalla, yalla, yalla. It has a lot of meanings, but I'm going to concentrate on the meaning let's today. So let's, if I want to invite you to do something, let's, let's go. Yalla, yalla, nadhab. Yalla comes from two words, ya and Allah, which originally meant oh God. Ya is a vocative, ya. Allah is God. Ya Allah became one word. Yalla, we hear yalla a lot, but one of the mostly common uses of it, usages of it, is to invite people or to rush people to do something. Let's. Yalla. The next one is if you want to say, I know that. I know we say, A'rif. Try to focus on the A pronunciation. A'rif. Not A'rif. Not A'rif. Not A'rif. A'a. 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 أعرف. It's difficult because it's not at the beginning. If it was at the beginning like the word Arab, it would have been easier for your pronunciation. But try to focus on A and then combining the A with the Ain. A, A. It's just like choking yourself. أعرف. أعرف is the verb to know in the present tense. أنا لا أعرف. I don't know. لا أعرف. I know. We say أنا أعرف. I know. أنا أعرف. Or simply أعرف. I know, I don't know, أنا لا أعرف or simply لا أعرف أعرف and لا أعرف I am sorry أنا آسف make the A long آ, not آسف آسف أنا آسف أنا آسف I am sorry آسف آسف here functions as an adjective so if you're a female and you are sorry in my case, I am sorry, telling you, I have to say أنا آسفة. We have to add the, the feminine gender, which is Tamarbuta, which you know already. If you don't know, click here, and this will lead you to the lesson of the Tamarbuta and the gender, the feminine gender. I am sorry, أنا آسف. Or if you're a female, أنا آسفة. You can get rid of the أنا, which means I, and just use آسف. I'm sorry, آسفة. I'm sorry, female. What do you think? How do we say what do you think in Arabic? Ma what? Ra'yuka. Ma ra'yuka. Ma ra'yuka. Stop between the R and the Y. Ra'yuka. Ma ra'yuka. Not ra'yuka. No, 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 no. There's the Hamza. Ma ra'yuka. So try to read it after me. Ma ra'yuka. What is your opinion? Ma ra'yuka. Ka is your talking to a male. If I'm talking to a female, I can ask her, Ma ra'yuki? What is your opinion, you female? So we just change the object pronoun at the ending. Ma ra'yuka? Ma ra'yuki? What is your opinion? The next useful everyday phrase is, don't worry. Do not worry. La taqlaq. 
لا تقلق unfortunately there are a lot of guttural sounds in this lesson but you have to get used to them and practice no don't worry every human being has the same human throat so we can articulate and create the same sounds even though they are difficult like the guttural Arab, Arabic letters but don't worry with practice you will, you will be able to pronounce them perfectly so do not worry لا تقلق لا تقلق don't worry لا تقلق Again, if I'm talking with a female, we would say لا تقلقي لا تقلقي Just add the E at the end لا تقلق Don't worry لا تقلقي Remember, not تكلق No, 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 no It's not in the front of the mouth كككا The place of articulation is behind in the throat ققاقا لا تقلق لا تقلقي The next useful sentence is No problem How do we say no problem in Arabic? We can say ما في مشكلة which is a little bit of dialect ما في مشكلة ما في مشكلة ما في مشكلة we use it a lot in speaking every day um, but remember it's not perfect Arabic it's dialect, some kind of a dialect to simplify the standard Arabic but if you want to learn the correct Arabic standard Arabic way to say no problem you have to say لا توجد مشكلة So you have these two options ما في مشكلة ما في مشكلة or لا توجد مشكلة لا توجد مشكلة Again, let's repeat them together ما في There is not ما في مشكلة which means problem ما في مشكلة Repeat it after me ما في مشكلة And there is no problem like literal translation لا توجد It means exists There is no It doesn't exist مشكلة A problem That's the standard Arabic one لا توجد مشكلة Repeat it after me لا توجد مشكلة So ما في مشكلة لا توجد مشكلة The next sentence is I don't understand I we say أنا Don't لا Present tense To understand is أفهم أنا لا أفهم لا أفهم You can get rid of the أنا Again because we understand from the verb itself أفهم is that I'm talking So أنا the, pr the pronoun itself We can put it and we can just like let it go أنا لا أفهم I don't understand لا أفهم Again أنا Repeat after me أنا لا أفهم أفهم The ها here is real correct ها 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 Not the ها ها Now أفهم No 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 أفهم أنا لا أفهم لا أفهم The next one is thank you so much. Thank you. Simply thank you. We say shukran. And I think you know it already. Thank you so much. We say shukran jazilan. Shukran jazilan. Thank you. Shukran jazilan. So much or very much or a lot. Shukran jazilan. Intabeh. Intabeh. Be careful. Intabeh. But intabeh to the sound of H at the ending. Intabeh. <laughs> not intabih, not intabi. Intabih. You have to make it sound a real <laughs> and you have to push air outside of your mouth even though it's the last letter. Intabih. It's like it continues <laughs> at the ending. Intabih. Okay? So take a deep breath. <gasps> intabih. <laughs> Alright? Intabih means be careful or careful. There's something wrong. Intabih. And Ihdar is very similar to intabi. It means beware. So it's, it's more like something's dangerous uh, in front of you or like uh, is arriving or you're facing something dangerous. So I would tell you instead of intabi, I would tell you ihdar. Ihdar. Remember or note that the here after the e in ihdar, it's the, mm, the sunglass edge. It's not the, the equivalent. It's not e equal to the intabi one. Intabi, it's a real edge. Ha 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 sound. Ihdar, it's the ha sound. Ihdar, ihdar. So intabih and ihdar. If I want to ask somebody what does this mean, I have to say ماذا يعني هذا. ماذا means what. We put it before verbs. يعني it means it means. هذا <laughs> means this. So ماذا يعني هذا. What does this mean? ماذا again يعني هذا. ماذا يعني هذا. You can even like. Uh, Make the same sentence in a different way. Ma, which means also what. Ma'na is the meaning. It's it's the noun. Hada. So ma ma'na hada, or ماذا يعني هذا. Note the only difference is that I change يعني, which means to to mean. It's the verb into ma'na, which means the meaning. It's the same word, but one is a verb, one is a noun. And what happens to the question word ماذا changed into ma? 
think you know this already because I've made a lesson about when you ask about verbs and when you ask about nouns like what is your name ما اسمك and what do you study ماذا تدرس so we change ما to ماذا but this is not the lesson of today I don't want to make you confu confused um, but I, I love to, to give you, like, I, to remind you of things that we've already learned and that are so important, apart from the vocabulary, also some grammar. ماذا يعني هذا? What is the meaning of this? Or what does this mean? ماذا يعني هذا? And ما معنى هذا? What is the معنى, the meaning of هذا? Again, I'm going to repeat it one last time because I, I said them quickly. ماذا يعني هذا? What does this mean? And ma ma'ana hada. What is the meaning of hada of this? All right. I hope you liked this lesson. Please subscribe to my channel if you still didn't. It's a shame that you you, you still didn't. Like we, I have over 400 videos of Arabic grammar, Arabic culture, recipe lessons, some tutorials, beauty tutorials. So I have a lot of um, contents when it comes to the Arab world. So if you're interested and if you've watched this video, it means that you are interested in the Arabic language and culture and world in general, and you, it means you have to subscribe. And please share this video with your friends, and that's it. So now, if you want to learn how to use these sentences that we learned today into Arabic situations, different situational Arabic situations, <laughs> um, Click here, this is a lesson where I use everything that I told you today, all these 10 um, uh, useful daily expressions, into situations. So I'm going to use them into full sentences and situations. This way I can train you into, like you, you can get to practice them in sentences and in different situations and it will help your memori memorization of, of them. Memory of them. Memorization, maybe? Help me with English. Alright, so I hope to see you in the following Arabic lesson with me, Muhammad. Salama!